Javelin, could you um, describe the, the the tackle of Derrick Henry that you had on the fourth down play? Oh yeah, in the um, which one? I had a lot. Over time, I mean, in the overtime, where it looked like it looked like if you didn't get him, he might be. Oh going yeah, to in overtime, just you know, just run to the ball, see him break through the fourth and one, and I'm like, it's just it's always a split second, either me or him, and so when took my shot, made a great open field tackle, and then helped us win the game. So it was great. How much are you guys as a secondary um, kind of feeding off what the guys up front are doing right now with how much pressure they're getting on quarterbacks? Um, we say in the uh, defensive room, just rush and cover. You know, we all compatible with each other when um, we make we give the make the quarterback give a hitch and then the D-line can get there even a second faster. So um, we work together on the field and um, just make plays on the defense. Javelin, I, I know you guys don't listen to it too much, but there was a lot of outside noise about this secondary's ability to perform and and if there was enough pieces in place uh, through a month of the season. Obviously, it looks like you guys are, are well up to the test, but did you use any of that as, as motivation or, or to kind of rally together and, and prove some of the naysayers wrong? Um, yeah, we wouldn't um, listen to all the um, like media stuff. We just put our head down and work. We know we're a young group, but we're even more hungry as well. And um, just going out there each and every day, practicing, just trying to get better each and every day and um, just make plays. That's the real thing. And um, we all like love hanging out with each other and um, that translates to the field. So, Jim, what's it like going for you going back and forth between nickel corner and outside corner? What's that been like over the last few months? Uh, it's been great, you know, just um, proving my versatility for this defense. Um, I feel like I'm just a DB wherever um, Brick or Sala wants me to play, wherever I can help the team the most, I'll, I'll do it, special teams as well. And, um, yeah, just prove my versatility. We've seen um, – I mean, th this game was a little weird because Eccles got hurt. But the first few games, they would – he would start, then you would come in. That's kind of unusual at cornerback. It's not like defensive linemen where there's always a rotation. Is that is that challenging to be on the sideline and then have to kind of come in cold or, or did – you know what was that what's that like for you um not really it's just really just staying locked in during the game and um seeing what and tapping in with echoes like when he comes in on the sidelines seeing like oh what you see like what they do and then um just sharing information and then uh, talking with M, talking about uh the certain adjustments on the sideline and then um going out and performing javelin what's the impact that uh cj mosley is having on this defense uh, CJ, he's great. He's the leader of the defense and um, he's smart, intellectual and makes sure everyone's right. And every time trying to get the ball out, and he's just a ball player, great ball player and um, grateful to have him on our defense. What was that moment like to see that you had won when the field goal was missed? It was great. We've been trying these past couple of weeks to get a win and uh, for that one to be the first one after in overtime, five quarters, you know, we always say for the four quarters, five quarters, seven quarters, you know, just as long as we get that W and it felt great. Seeing everybody happy, fans live, all that. Can you talk about the physicality you guys are asked to bring in this defense from the cornerback position? Yeah, as a secondary, we take pride in that, you know, uh, we understand that our front seven is elite and, um, offensive will find ways to get the ball outside to find a way to get the run game going. And uh, we say no to that and just come up and hit and be very physical, getting off blocks, setting the edge and um, making tackles. What's it like playing for Jeff Albrecht? How much have you enjoyed it? I enjoyed every day. You know, he always comes with that juice and um, always talking about the ball. The ball is the main thing. And um you know, just he's a great teacher teaching us the little things and um, scouting and just seeing how offensive work. And I've learned a lot from him. What do you think about what's ahead for you guys this week uh, playing in London? You think that's going to be a cool experience? It definitely will, but um, we won't pay attention to it as much. It's just another football game on Sunday. And um, I'm sure we'll get adjusted to the time zone, but we're ready to play on Sunday. Hey, you came in with 
uh, Bryce Hall last year. What do you think about the strides he's making? Obviously, you guys are key members of secondary. You were guys were rookies last year, but what do you think about the way he's played? Yeah, he's been playing real good, real great. And um, like we talked about it since after last season, just um, understanding that our roles will get increased for year two now. And so um, just always talking to each other, working on things during pra before practice, after practice, and just uh, talking about the game. And um, he's been great so far. It's going to be great all year. Javelin, you, you talked about the camaraderie. Uh, that you guys have, and in particular with the cornerbacks. Um, do, you know, you guys were undrafted. Some of you were mid to late round picks. Does that kind of like feed into that camaraderie where you, all of you guys, you know, people talk about they're hungry, but I mean, does, does that really kind of play into it? The, the fact that you guys are kind of in the same situation coming into this league? Um, yeah, that's um, certainly the um, from before the draft, but you know, we're all here now and um, just trying to build that chemistry with one another. And um, Justin Hardy's been doing a great job, you know, just making sure we're all tapped in with one another. And we always talking um, on the field and obviously off the field as well, just to get that balance. And um, it really helps us on the field and on Sundays. Javelin, you faced Zach in college, right? The, with Utah mm -hmm. and BYU? Yes, sir. So what was, you know, what was your feeling like when the team got him and is he, you know, what's it been like watching him um, as he progresses here as a rookie? Um, he's been making great strides. Um, just talking to him, you know, we always talk about college and uh, Utah just lost to BYU. They lost a streak and, you know, he's been rubbing it in on me, but, you know, just seeing him on the field, you know, going through his progressions and uh, making checks from the start of OTAs to now, it's been great to see. And, um, he's going to continue to get better each and every day. It's great to see. When you see those strides the offense has made and, and you're playing with the lead and you're playing with the lead in the middle of the game, does that take some of the stress off of you guys as a defense? Uh, I guess, does it put more pressure on you to keep that lead? That lead? Does it take a, some of the pressure off to, to know that you're playing with the lead? Yeah, it's great to see when the offense is rolling and getting the lead. But um, as a defense, we just focus on what we have to do and um, – where the offense is doing great or they're having a, being a little slow, we know we got to pick it up. And um, we talk about it all the time, like try to get the ball and just get our offense in great position no matter how long it takes.